to podcasters, recording musicians, and streamers who are looking for studio quality audio at home or on the road. The Shure MV7 Podcast Kit is a premium all-in-one solution inspired by the legendary Shure SM7B and designed to address the versatility required by modern creators. Visit the link in our show notes to learn more about the MV7 Podcast Microphone. And visit Shure.com, that's S-H-U-R-E.com, Shure, sound extraordinary. Product used in exchange for promotional consideration. I'm Al John Go, podcaster and producer of the Disney List, Skull Rock Podcast, and Dining at Disney. When you're creating content, podcast, webcasting, live streaming, or wanting to step up your video conference calls, you need quality gear and accessories. That's why I use Gator Frameworks in my studio. From professional broadcast boom arms and microphone stands, studio monitor speaker stands, ring light kits, headphone holders, elite furniture studio desks, and acoustic wall treatments, Gator Frameworks has you covered. Gator is the leading brand of cases, stands, and support system solutions for music, pro AV, creative pro, IT, and general utility industries. They have over 1,000 different solutions made from vacuum plastics, rational molded plastics, wood, sewn, and EVA materials. Leveraging their expertise in case design and manufacturing, Gator has a complete OEM division that works with leading companies around the world to engineer and create custom cases for original equipment manufacturers. For more information, visit Gator Frameworks works.com product provided in exchange for promotional consideration eat the pictures is a bite-sized movie podcast every week we look at the ways different movies from classic horror to rom-com use food to tell stories on screen food unites us all let's explore it piece by piece on eat the pictures stay hungry This is Kat from Dining at Disney, and I'm here with Kristen. Kristen, tell us about some incredible travel deals. Well, right now, for not much longer, though, you can enjoy a deal over at Walt Disney World for the 50th anniversary celebration where you can save up to $100 per night on rooms at select Disney Resort hotels. And that's going to be stays now through July 7th. Like I said, you have very limited time for this to uh, take advantage of this one, which means hopefully very, very soon we will be seeing some new Walt Disney World deals like we have already seen for Disneyland. Kristen, how can people book these incredible vacations? They can contact me at themeparksandcruises at gmail.com. From the Gator Framework Studio in Music City, it's the Dining at Disney Podcast. You know the thing about good food? It brings folks together all walks of life. You'll discover all the best restaurants and food as you hungrily explore the Disney parks. Let's do this thing! The Dining at Disney Podcast with your hosts, Kristen Hetzel, Bubba Alvarez, and Kat Arcori. Welcome to the Dining at Disney Podcast. I am Kristen, and joining me is Kat and producer Al John. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to the podcast. You can find it on any of the amazing podcasting platforms out there. We do two a week, so you definitely don't want to miss something. Kat, do you want to let everybody know what we are talking about today? Uh, we're going to talk about the Floridian Foodie Guide, the Taste of Florida flavors of florida that's going to be happening at disney springs but first uh we have the one hundred thousand dollar trip around the world that's <laughs> already sold out and now we have a five thousand dollar cocktail served aboard the disney wish <laughs> five thousand wow. dollars we don't know what's in it it's called the kyber crystal that's with two r's it costs five thousand dollars it's served in the hyperspace lounge Inside of a Camtono with a smoke effect and probably a firework. Who knows? Um, I almost feel like at five thousand dollars, it needs to be something that I can drink more than once, <laughs> or it needs to have some diamonds in it, or or something. It's a Kyber it's, crystal. It's, you better have a Kyber crystal and a lightsaber in there. And it that, better yeah. have a Kyber crystal. That the only way you can get that color is in this drink. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, if it doesn't come with Oscar Isaacs, I don't want it. That's where we're at. <laughs> Serve it to me in a Camtono by Oscar Isaacs. Can we talk about, I know this is not about food and I apologize already to that one guy, but <laughs> I, I love how the Camtono started as like this joke and now it's like a serious Star Wars thing. Yeah, so if people don't know what the Camtono is, uh, Kat, why don't you tell them what it is? 
So in Empire Strikes Back, you can see a guy running through the hallway of Cloud City holding an ice cream machine. <laughs> And that's what this thing is. It's an ice cream machine that they repurposed into a prop. It's called a Camtono, featured in Empire Strikes Back, and now being used liberally on The Mandalorian and probably Book of Boba Fett, though I didn't watch it that closely to see it, but I wouldn't doubt it. Just so you know, the character's name is Wilro Hood. There you go. And Wilro Hood is the guy that's running around with a ice cream maker <laughs> in Cloud City as they're scrambling because... It's incredible. Uh, Everything is going down and they have an action figure of him. He's one of my favorite people to like cosplay at because all you do is just run around with an ice cream maker and an orange jumpsuit. It's the best. It's perfect. And honestly, I probably shouldn't tell this story, but it's fine. I don't care. Uh, at Star Wars Celebration, we were setting up for the Mandalorian experience and moving things around. And at one point, John Favreau was like, this place, it looks too empty. Do we have some Camtonos we can just throw up there? And it ended up being a pile of these ice cream machines. And I was like, this is my life now where Camtonos are like a serious thing that we are talking about in the culture. And I don't know how I feel about it. So crazy. Isn't it though? But for $5,000, I'm taking it home. Whether it's included or not, I'm taking it home. Yeah, just so you know, you can, <laughs> no get, a kidding, Hamilton, right? you can get a Hamilton Beach Camtono. <laughs> <laughs> from from Home Shopping Network for like 60 yes. bucks. Okay. Yes. Okay, go to eBay. Oh, God, go to eBay. <laughs> yep, let's see if, if any, of, any of the media has put it on eBay yet. Okay, because... Because <laughs> okay. we have to know how many thousands of dollars they're going to try and sell it for. Because, you know, I mean, something that costs like 30 bucks, people will sell for like $500. So can you mm-hmm. imagine if it's $5,000, what people are selling it for? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, hold on a second. Hold that's on a if, second. That's if it's part of the, the take home. Yeah. It might not even be part of the take home. It better be from people. No kidding. Please hold for technical difficulties. Please. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thank don't you see for, it yet. Thank you, for, thank you for holding. Someone from Dining at Disney Podcast will be with you shortly. Nope. <laughs> Not on there yet. No. Not yet. Well, <laughs> not yet. We'll come back to it, I'm oh, oh, sure. Well, hold on. Let me look up one more thing. <laughs> I really just want to know what's in this drink. Like, is it Remy Martin? I don't drink. I don't drink, like, anything expensive. Oh, so that's I'm what not I'm sure what it's got, it's got to be some Remy or Louis. Right? Yeah. I... Yeah, but even that stuff does, unless you're getting the whole thing of it. Well, that's I right. mean, because you, you can order a Louis thing. and it's. Two fifty an ounce at Disney. Yeah, so, I don't know, man. I don't know, but that's look. We had a call. We was traveling call traveling around Disney. They're going on the wish, aren't they? Yes, they are. So we're sending them on a reconnaissance mission. If you're listening, Todd and Michelle, you have one goal when you go on your cruise: <laughs> find out what's in that drink. Yeah, find. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that is like getting the Death Star plans. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be running around like Rogue One. Going, exactly. We got the plans. We got the plans. And here, here comes Bob Chapek in the background going, I'm going to get you. Oh, God. <laughs> it would be worth it. It would be worth it. Oh, my goodness. Ace. Well, it better taste good. If anyone else has tried it, uh, I'm looking at you, Ashley Carter, at Ashley Carter One, uh, reporter for News 13 in Orlando. Maybe we had to contact her and be like, did you drink this? Yeah, or just watch these two dudes drink it. Okay, so think this. We've had two very expensive Star Wars things come about in the less than a year. Yeah. So my question is because this already tops the cost of doing the Star Cruiser, mm-hmm. what is Bob Paycheck's next crazy idea of something to sell that's going to beat five thousand dollars? We know Ooh. there's got to be something. You know. I got you. I got you. Okay. You're gonna get. The real life infinity. <laughs> <laughs> with actual jewels. With actual infinity gems in there. Lab, no, it won't be actual. It'll be lab created. Oh, lab there created? Go. Lab created. Well, you know, then it, you know, it won't be worth five grand. No, but he'll mm-hmm. charge him, He'll charge more than that for it. It's Bob. <laughs> We've got, we have every wannabe Thanos uh, in tow, and we're going to give you the lab created infinity gauntlet. Uh, and then you'll have Hella knocking over going, fake. <laughs> fake. I think it's going to be shingles from Mickey's house in Toontown after they redo oh, it. They're going to sell them. Oh, I thought you said Frames. shingles. You mean like six shingles? Like, I mean, yeah, that's what shingles. I thought when she first 
the no. shingles that came to my no. mind. <laughs> like roofing shingles. Okay. Like we redid well, the that. ones on Mickey's house. Take uh, these old ones. Uh-huh. Once you said Mickey's house, I, I, I figured that. <laughs> it makes that. sense. It's like I've got, you know, shingles. Like from who? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's a gift that keeps giving, apparently. <laughs> All right. Yeah, those listening, I want to know what do you think is the next crazy priced item that Bob Paycheck is going to come up with and everybody is going to be talking about what's next. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. anyway. Meanwhile, though, what we have Meanwhile. to talk about is the foodie guide for the, t- it's not taste of Florida. It is, hold on. I got it. Flavors, flavors of Florida. Of Florida. Is what it is. And it's preven- presented by my favorite corksicle. Yes. What is that? That was a cork. <laughs> oh my. We're okay. in rare form tonight, guys. So, man. This, this is Disney Springs and is taking place July 5th. So, starting tomorrow through August 14th in over 30 restaurants and shops at Disney Springs. Okay, so, Kat, I'm going to let you start because I know this is one of your favorite places to talk about. Yes, it is. We're going to jump right in with Amaret's Patisserie, a blood orange eclair. I got to be honest with you guys, compared to the eclairs we've been seeing lately, this one looks a little sad. I'm sure it's just (laughs) as delicious, but it looks a little bit sad. It almost looks like a hot dog. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's a little sad, but. Blood orange eclair, an eclair filled with triple blood orange mousse topped with tangy citrus jam and candied blood orange. I do love blood orange. I'm sure it's delicious. And a blue citrus Sauvignon Blanc slushy. Matua Sauvignon Blanc, blue curacao syrup, and lemonade served in a flavors of Florida <gasps> corksicle. Uh, Is this the one you want? Yeah. I want it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's beautiful with the little so orange pretty. on it. It makes me yes. happy. And it's white like my current one. Yes, that'll be yes. replacing it. Maybe. We'll have to see. I like it. At the boathouse, they're having a coconut panna cotta. Coconut panna cotta layered with mango gelée and topped with tropical fresh fruit, shredded coconut, and a crispy coconut shortbread cookie. So you that better like delicious. coconut. I do like coconut I do quite too. a lot. Yeah. At Chef Art Smith's homecoming, Southern Fried Hand Pies, a pair of fried pastries filled with moonshine glazed strawberry compote and served with a scoop of vanilla bean ice cream. Ooh. And a blood orange margarita, double diamante tequila with fresh squeezed lime juice and blood orange puree garnished with a fresh Florida orange. Sounds good to me. They all sound good. Chicken Guy has the Florida Sunshine Shake. It's a hand-spun vanilla soft-serve ice cream with fresh Florida orange juice topped with whipped cream and garnished with an orange wheel. It is not available if you do online orders, so you have to order it in person. If you head over to City Works Eatery and Poor House, they have a Smokehouse Cuban. It's a hardwood smoked pork, pulled pork shoulder, ham, shaved hot link, smoked provolone, Robinot red mustard and spicy bread and butter pickles on a Cuban roll. If you head up to the Coca-Cola rooftop beverage bar, you can get the sunshine orange chill St. Augustine vodka, orange juice topped with Sprite and served in a souvenir Coca-Cola glass. And at Deluxe Burger, they have a Lime Garage Burger Deluxe Patty topped with pepper jack cheese, pork belly, fried green tomato, and served with an avocado lime and jalapeno spread. That sounds amazing. I want that. Uh, Orange Garage Burger. It's a Deluxe Patty topped with pepper jack cheese, pork belly, lettuce, and served with orange and onion marmalade. And then the Orange Bird Milkshake. An artisanal shake made with vanilla gelato and orange topped with sprinkles. Sprinkles! I love love that they're named after the garages. It's so (laughs) dumb. I know. Great. At first glance, when I saw it, I thought it said garbage. (laughs) Just, you know, if you're looking at it at glance, garage, garbage, they look very similar. It does. (laughs) I was like, wait, what? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. From the gar- from the garbage to the dock side. Uh, welcome to the dock side. We have margaritas. Yes. And at dock side margaritas, they have the strawberry basil margarita, which is the Herandra 
Resposado tequila and lime juice with strawberry puree and garnished with shredded basil leaves. At Aaron McKenna's Bakery NYC, you've got orange blossom cupcake, moist vanilla cuppy cake, piped with orange flavored frosting, topped with orange zest and a flower garnish. It's vegan and gluten free and dairy free. So checks all the boxes. It is free of of everything but sugar. But (laughs) it's got a lot of oranges. There's a lot of orange in there. That's true. At Everglaze Donuts and Cold Brew, you've got the Citrus Dream Donut. Oh. Orange glazed donut with white buttercream drizzled with orange icing and topped with orange gummy and fresh mint leaf. And then you have the orange lemonade with sweet sweet cream foam limited edition summer treat made with freshly squeezed orange lemonade topped with sweet cream foam. I just have to say anything called orange blossom always sounds good to me. Okay, Mm -hmm. that's good. Um, We have at the Frontera Casina... (laughs) The Shrimp Alejo Tostada, Tostada topped with roasted garlic, Guajillo, Florida Pink Shrimp, Avocado, Yamaka, Yakima, 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 Local Heirloom Cherry Tomatoes, Red Onion, Cilantro, Orange, and Citrus Soy Vinaigrette. Yum. Also very nice. At Gideon's Bakehouse, they are going to be featuring an orange pecan chocolate chip cookie, an almost half pound vanilla bean cookie infused with orange essence and mixed with dark chocolate covered in pecan pralines and candied orange peel. Mm. Wow. Wow. Yes. The Ganachery will be featuring strawberry shortcake chocolate treat, strawberry chocolate, white crisp pearls, speculoos cookie crumbles, and strawberry crispies. House of Blues will be featuring a voodoo shrimp, sautéed Florida Gulf shrimp in an Abita amber beer reduction sauce served over jalapeno cheese cornbread. Mm, Yum. I want that. Yes. And their beverage is a green gator, siesta key toasted coconut rum mixed with melon liqueur, simple syrup, and pineapple juice. I'll that take that good too. too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A local green Orlando food truck will be featuring a Kingston mango pineapple lemonade. Tropical flavors of mango and pineapple with refreshing lemonade. I'm very glad that they are being successful there. Yes. yes. They have a great, <laughs> great miss- mission and a great message over there. Yes. Then if you head over to Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, they have the Florida Gulf Shrimp Tacos, jerk spice shrimp served in a grilled corn tortilla with watermelon pico de gallo and topped with sliced jalapenos. There's Jack's Citrus Old Fashioned, a cocktail classic with a Florida summer twist. And the Florida Mule, Florida Cane Vodka, Ginger Beer, Orange Juice, and Simple Syrup served in the Flavors of Florida Cork Sickle and Cat, those tacos definitely sound like something we would like. I love watermelon pico de gallo, which is a weird thing to say, but it's true. No, it's good. Good stuff. So refreshing. Yes. Yes. Uh, M&M's store has M&M's white chocolate key lime pie candy. Bright colored white chocolate candies available by the half pound or pound from the color wall. And then at the outdoor vending locations, you can find a blue orange gin and tonic, St. Augustine gin, triplers, orange liqueur, blood orange, monin and tonic water garnished with an orange web, web, wedge, wedge, uh, paddlefish, the key lime pie, which is a favorite dessert of mine. Mm-hmm. And it is a rich uh, but tart key lime filling with an airy toasted meringue. I am really getting hungry looking at these. They're so good. <laughs> I know. And then we go to the they're pool, all yeah. these like summer flavors. And I'm like, I love summer flavored food. It's like yes. light, typically light and healthier. Now, this next section is comprised mm-hmm. of some of my favorite restaurants there in Disney Springs. The Polite Pig has got a Cuban sandwich, which is a classic Florida sandwich made with crusty bread. That sounds weird. Crusty bread piled <laughs> high with sl- sliced ham, roasted pork, cheese, and dill pickles spread with a tangy sauce. And then you also have the Key Lime Mojito, which is a rum cocktail with freshly squeezed lime juice and club soda garnished with fresh mint sprigs and lime. At Rainforest Cafe, you've got the Key Lime Ceviche Tostada, which is shrimp, scallop, and mango ceviche, avocado mousse, and cilantro cabbage saw with citrus vinaigrette, accompanied by cilantro, lime rice, and Cuban black beans. At Sailfish Brewing, Sunrise City IP. Oh, at, uh, you also have the Sailfish. Did I say that right? Sailfish Brewing, Sunrise IPA, West Coast style IPA, brewed with Columbus Amarillo and Mosaic hops, featuring a smooth finish and notes of bitter citrus. 
At Raglan Road Irish Pub and Restaurant, you get the homegrown strip steak, whoop, whoop, which is 12-ounce cut, grass-fed and locally raised at Florida's Adena Farms, served with uh, Baronet sauce, Cipollini onions, sautéed with wild mushrooms, and Raglan's twice-cooked millionaire homemade chips. Mm. At Salt and Straw, mm-hmm. you've got the strawberry honey balsamic with black pepper ice cream. That, that sounds, sounds my favorite. Nice. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah? Yes, it's one yeah. of my favorite ice creams ever. There's two places like within a mile of my house, and one of them is Salt and Straw, and the other one is this place called Pinocchio's that serve ice cream that has balsamic vinegar in it. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, it's just the best thing ever. I love it so much. Yeah, Kristen has done the ice cream and balsamic video, uh, video, uh, balsamic vinegar, which is the Mm -hmm. chocolate balsamic, which is super yummy. So good. uh, It is good. I do like, I do like my flavored like oil, olive oils and balsamic vinegars. I am getting so hungry, (laughs) y'all, talking about this. And okay, so at Splitsville Luxury Lanes, you've got grilled Key West pink shrimp salad. Grilled shrimp served over a spring mix of strawberries, oranges, cucumbers, tomato, parsley, onions, and feta tossed in strawberry vinaigrette. And then you have the spiked guava lemonade, which is the guava puree, fresh squeezed lemon juice with St. Augustine vodka topped with a splash of soda water. Yes, please. I love guava. My new favorite place in Disney Springs swirls on the water. (laughs) They're going to have an orange bird Dole Whip, which is soft serve Dole Whip orange top with sprinkles and an orange bird garnish. And the watermelon Dole Whip, a Dole Whip watermelon piled high on a slice of fresh watermelon, limited quantities available daily. You can get that one only while supplies last. I'm sounds bummed. delicious. I so want that. It sounds, sounds so, good. so good. Terralina Crafted Italian is featuring an Italian sangria, special blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Brandy, peach, and lemon garnished with Florida orange slices and served by the glass or in a pitcher for four or one, you know, live your life. (laughs) T-Rex will have a blackened shrimp salad, salad greens dressed with Florida orange blossom honey and key lime vinaigrette topped with blackened shrimp, seasonal berries and goat cheese croutons. Yum. And their featured drink is the Oyster City Mangrove Pale Ale. Classic pale ale with a malty body and mild hops fermented in mangoes to add a tropical fruit forward flavor. I'd try that. Yeah. Vivoliel Gelato is going to have a pineapple and coconut shake, a rich and creamy shake made with pineapple and coconut sorbetto topped with a mini pineapple and coconut layer cake. Oh my. Fresh. That's not where I thought that was going, but I'm into it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they'll also be having an orange blossom gelato, a frozen Italian treat made with orange blossom Pilsner beer and Savannah the orange blossom honey served in a cup or a waffle cone. Mm. Yes. <gasps> oh. And a key for you, Kristen. Yes. This one's for you. The key lime cannoli, a delicate pastry shell filled with sweet cream made of ricotta and key limes. And of course, friend of the pod, Wine Bar George, frozen old fashioned featuring Dole Whip orange. Purchase a Wine Bar George limited edition corksicle and enjoy a complimentary frozen drink. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and the thing is, old fashioned. What? Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited about that, and definitely, I would get that. That's. That's the one thing is, if you like the cups, like the corksicle cups, it's totally Mm -hmm. worth it to go over there and buy it because literally they're charging you the same price that you're gonna pay anywhere else to get a corksicle wine glass, and then you get the drink in it for free. So Mm. it's like. It's a win-win. Definitely. Yeah, it's cool. It'd be dangerous if I lived there because I would probably have like 20 corksicles. Every single one that they would come out with at my bar, George, I'd be like, oh, I need that one. I need that one too. <laughs> Kristen, what's in behind that locked door in your house that nobody talks about? <laughs> it's my corksicle it's room. one million corksicle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a corksicle addiction problem. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Well, I think I you. we covered lots of delicious food news today. Uh, do let us know what you think about that $5,000 cocktail that's being offered, as well as what are you looking forward to most trying as part of this Flavors of Florida going on in Disney Springs. 
Well, we hope you enjoyed today's show. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. You can find us on Anchor or any of the other amazing podcasting platforms out there. But if you do head over to Anchor, you can help support the show there for as little as 99 cents a month. You can also go over to DiningAtDisney.com and click one of our links to Amazon Disney Store and Garden Grocer there and support the show. Al John, do you want to tell everybody where they can find us? Sure. Well, you can find me on Instagram at AljonGo. You can do that. And you can also find Dining at Disney on all of the social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can check out the show archive, too, there, because we want you to do that. There's a plethora, El Wapo, a plethora, I dare say, of podcasts you need to listen to for Dining at Disney. Please leave us those five-star reviews as well. We'd appreciate it. And then, for all of your Disney, Universal, cruise travel, and adventures by Disney needs, you can contact Kristen at themeparkandcruises at gmail.com for your free quote and to book your next Disney trip today. Kat. You can find me on Instagram at catastrophe at C-A-T underscore A-S-T-R-O-P-H-E. Make sure to check out some other great podcasts, including the Disney list with Kristen and Al John, WDW Park Hoppers with Park Hoppers John and Park Hopper Sid, Disney Parks podcast with Tony and John, the Skull Rock podcast with Al John and Dave Bossert, and my podcast, Eat the Pictures. For Facebook fun, join our friends, the Disney Dorks, and the Sorcerer Radio Fun Zone. And don't forget, join the Dining at Disney Facebook group. There's a lot of fun stuff happening over there every day. And until next time, I'm Kristen. With me is Kat and producer Al John. Bon appetit. The information and opinions expressed in this podcast are for entertainment and informational purposes. All other trademarks mentioned are the property of their respective owners. Skull Rock Podcast, talking all things Disney, with your hosts, Al John Go and Dave Bossert. Do you just love to learn more about the magic that embodies animated films, theme park attractions, and more? The all-encompassing universe created and produced by the genius of Walt Disney has spanned nearly 100 years in counting. From his earliest film endeavors with the Laughagram cartoons and the Alice comedies, to the creation of Mickey Mouse, to the first animated feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and then dreaming of Disneyland, Walt Disney continuously raised the creative bar, and today his company has carried on that tradition as a global entertainment juggernaut. I'm Dave Bossert, artist, filmmaker, and author. And I'm Al John Go, musician, podcaster, and radio guy. Every week, Dave and I will explore the entertainment galaxy that is Disney with insightful conversation, stories, and special guests talking all things Disney. Listen to never-before-heard stories and behind-the-scenes moments from some of your favorite Disney films, theme park attractions, performances, books, music, and so much more from knowledgeable, insightful, and thought-provoking hosts and guests. Hear the latest news about Disney past, present, and future. Skull Rock Podcast is your go-to source for the magic we all love. Skull Rock Podcast. Visit SkullRockPodcast.com. Kristen Hetzel, vacation planner, world traveler, Disney foodie, and theme park fan. I'm Al John Go. I'm the husband who's also Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel Comics fan. And together, we host a Disney List podcast. Every week, you'll hear us list our favorite things about Disney theme parks, films, shows, travel, Marvel, and Star Wars in a top 10 list, rankings, and more. That's an impressive list. Subscribe to the Disney List Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or your favorite podcast platform. You can even stream us on Sorcerer Radio at srsounds.com and check out our live shows on Facebook. The Disney List Podcast. Visit thedisneylist.com.